Hey, it's Danny the Plumber. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a Moen single lever shower valve, shower bathtub combo that's uh, dripping water. You can see right here that it's dripping a lot of water all day long. After about a month that really adds up all that water and a lot of times you'll get a green mark from the water right here or different colors and uh, just not fun. Real easy to install. I've got a Moen replacement cartridge. This is a 1225 and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install it. These are for single handle faucets and you can pick these up at a Home Depot or any other hardware store like that. So the tools that I use for this project are um, Allen uh, wrenches, uh, Phillips screwdriver, uh, Lyman plier, uh, needle nose plier. Sometimes you can use just one of these, maybe just the um, Lyman plier, and you don't always need the needle nose, and plumber's grease. That's it. First off, what you want to do is turn the water off at your the main shut off in the front of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I've shut the water off at the main shut off in the front of the house, and um, I've also opened up a hose to uh, let all the excess water in the house come out of the pipes. And I'll verify that it's off before I do any work just by opening it, flipping it to the hot and the cold, and letting any excess water come out of here that may still be in there. Okay, now that I've verified that all the water is out, a real important step is to put something over the drain so we don't drop any screws down there. All right, so now I grab my Allen wrenches and I get a 764 Allen wrench and I put it underneath the handle right there where that Allen screw is. I put it in there, unscrew it, and you got to completely get it out. There's the screw. Put that to the side and the handle will come right off real easily. Okay, after that there is a screw in this plastic part right in the center. It's a Phillips head screw that you're going to have to take out. And that just holds a little plastic insert that holds the handle on. Boom. That one's out. that part there. Next what we're going to do is there's a, another um, metal flange right here. We'll take that guy out. Guys, sometimes a little hard to get out. Put that to the side. Next I'm going to grab a pair of Lyman pliers or needle nose. Sometimes I'll have to take this flange off if the, uh, it was, the valve was roughed in too far uh, this way, but I think I can get it out with a pair of needle nose pliers. You see the clip right on the top here? There it is. It's, it comes right out of that center part right there, the clip, and you lift just straight up and it's out. There's the clip. That clip just keeps the cartridge in place so the water pressure doesn't blow it out. Okay, next with my Lyman pliers I'm gonna grab the cartridge itself and you can see that there's a little groove on the top of this cartridge right here, a tiny little groove. And the other side, that means that's on the top. That means the hot's on the left, the cold's on the right. If I flipped it around, you can see there is no groove on that one right there. So the groove should be always on the top when we uh, reinstall, and I'll go over that again in a second. Okay, next we're just going to give it a little pressure and pull out. That was a real easy one to get out. Some are harder than others because the grease is worn off on it. That one, we're lucky today, came out real easily. Put that to the side. We'll take our Moen 1225 cartridge and I'll grease it today. It's, they do come pre-greased but it never hurts to add a little grease on it, especially because this is my own house. I will be the one changing it next time. 
just makes it easier to come out. All right. <clears throat> so once again, we're just going to reinstall the uh, cartridge now. And a lot of times what I like to do is take a quick look inside there, make sure there's no calcium uh, buildup or any, um, any debris or burrs from a pipe uh, inside there, because that will also cause your valve to leak. Looks good. I'll find the top side with a little groove on it, reinstall it. And when I reinstall it, it's important to get this thing, that little plastic thing lined up so I can put my clip back in. So it's a little off right there. You can hardly see it, but that thing has to be straight on in the center. So let's try that again. And we want to make sure that it's all the way in. Sometimes it takes a little more or this clip will not fall in place. Clip goes back in. Our flange that we just took out goes back in. plastic insert for the handle that goes right on there lines up that little groove with that groove Phillips screw back in place it's got to be tight but not too tight you don't want to crack the plastic the handle that groove and that groove line up and finally I'm going to put the Allen screw back on but I'm going to grease that too just on the threads there makes it easier to remove in the future and you can go ahead and turn it while keeping the handle on with one hand screw the Allen screw back in Alright, so that's how to replace your mowing cartridge. And this is the same concept with a lot of different shower and bathtub valves. You know, the cartridges are going to um, differ slightly, but that's the same concept. You, get, you can uh, replace a, drippy cartridge, a dripping cartridge by the same way, basically. Okay, now I'm going to turn the main shutoff back on in the front of the house to see if that worked. Okay, now that I've got the water back on for the house, um, I can see already that it does not have a, a drip like it had before. But it's real important to um, flush out your system uh, through the bathtub because nothing can get clogged or it's very hard for stuff to get clogged in here. Whereas if you have a kitchen faucet, stuff gets clogged in the aerator and in the small flex connector tubes and stuff. So it's best to flush from a uh, tub. Uh, even a shower is not as good as a tub. So you want to go make sure it's diverted to the tub and flush it out. Hot and cold both. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.